All right, let's load up an instance of operator. This is just the default setting. Operator is a super powerful FM synth and it can be a little bit tricky to navigate around at first. So I'm gonna give you just a general quick walkthrough of the different panels and how you can access all the parameters on this particular synthesizer. So starting over here on the left, we've got the four operators, A, B, C, and D. So incoming MIDI is going to give each of these operators its fundamental frequency unless you choose to fix it in place, in which case you can define that frequency over here with a frequency knob, choose a multiplier, and then there's a level for each operator as well. You can turn all of these on and off by clicking their associated letters over here. So if you only want to be using um, A and B, you can turn C and D off and they won't be taking up CPU power or being involved in any of the modulation. Moving along, in the center of operator is the operator display. So depending on what you have selected in the shell, you're gonna see specific parameters that are related to that device inside of the operator display. So for each of these operators, I have an amp envelope, and then I also have oscillator parameters as well. So let's take a look at the envelope here first. I have a visual display of the ADSR and I can adjust those parameters here by clicking and dragging or I can adjust them down here numerically the same way. We have other parameters which are specific to the, this particular amp envelope. And then if I click on the oscillator, you can see that I have parameters for adjusting which type of a waveform we have. I can also draw in my own waveform. You can see it goes to a user waveform and more parameters specific to this particular oscillator as well. So you can see if I was going to select oscillator C now, it would be back to whatever its particular parameters were. So just clicking through, sometimes it can be a little confusing, especially if you have multiple stages of modulation, keeping track of what's going on where can, um, can get a little hairy. So just make sure you know where you're clicking and what you're clicking on. And, it all makes a lot of sense once you kind of spend a little bit of time inside of Operator. Moving over to the right-hand side of the panel, we have an LFO, which we can turn on and off like this. We have a filter, which can similarly be powered on and off, pitch envelope, and then down here we have all of the global settings for this entire device. So starting up here with the LFO, we have another envelope, and then here we can assign the destination for the modulation. It can go by default to any of the four operators, the filter, then you can select another destination as well and adjust different parameters such as how um, amount of modulation is affected by or in relation to the velocity of the incoming MIDI notes. You can change the wave, you can change the rate and the amount just like a typical LFO on any device that you would see. The filter here, again, envelope, and then here we can actually adjust the parameters and the settings of the filter visually, or again, you can do this over here with these knobs. The pitch envelope, same thing. We can adjust it visually up here or numerically down here. This is another set of modulations where you can assign it to go to any of the oscillators or specifically to the LFO and then an, ad an additional destination. This is where you're going to adjust your glide settings and the glide time if you're um, adding that sort of a dimension to the sound. And then down here we have the global parameters. So if I click on this shell here, you can see the algorithms and you can decide how each of these operators is um, working in relation to the other. And then down here we have yet another level of modulation and most of these are from incoming MIDI messages. So we can assign velocity, key tracking, aftertouch, pitch bend, and the mod wheel to be creating additional modulation here. Down here at the bottom we have parameters that are specific to the amount of voices that operator will play and how those voices are being played. So there's the general walkthrough of operator. Um, the more you mess around with this device, the less confusing that it seems. So, you know, visually at first you might find this to be challenging, but it's actually 
really easy to navigate once you understand what's going on. Thank you.